Welcome back to Patrick's Parabox. Uh, again, I've got slightly limited time, uh, and so it'll be interesting to see how much Patrick's Parabox I can fit into the 40 minutes that I've got before I have to go take my kids someplace. So uh, if you were just new to this game and this is the first Patrick's Parabox video you've watched, I am Patrick, this little pink square, uh, and I'm just trying to get myself and some crates into, this, into the correct locations in a bunch of little square levels. Uh, the weird part of the game is that uh, levels can live inside levels. So I'm not gonna try to win right now, I'm just gonna show you, look. Okay, actually, this is gonna be easy. Okay, so, so I can go inside this green level right here and it's full of little slots, places where I need to bring, I need to bring another square over here, I need to bring myself right here and once I've got all these squares filled, the level will be one. But it's not just that weird. I can also move in and out of my own level. Like, my level can be contained within my level. Or my level can be contained within the level that's contained within my level. So it's very, very bizarre. And so now, so what I need to do is... Actually, I'm not sure what I need to do. Here's my problem. Okay. Let's, let's push this one right here. I need to put myself here. I need to get a crate here, some kind of block here, and a second block here. Here's a I've only got one other block. And I can put it in here. But then what? Where will I get another block? So this is a brand new section of the game that I haven't explored before. So it could be there's some crazy insight that I can think of. Like, what happens if I... Okay, so nothing special. Like, if there's some way that I can put this green block inside of itself, that doesn't seem doable. I will definitely be open to anybody who has ideas. Like, right, thanks for hanging out with us, Richard. It's really, really good to have you. Okay, so our, I don't know if starting this video with me being immediately stumped seems like a bad plan. <laughs> Where do I get a second block? What weird insight am I missing into how this game works? Like, what happens if I... Okay, so pushing my level outside of itself destroys the world. So we can't do that. Is there a way that I can push a level into itself? That's... Yeah, so like, if it's possible for me to break reality by shoving this level outside of itself. And then when I come out, there's just nothing here. And I can't go back in just because everything is because it like, which one would I go back into? Yeah. Cause there's two of it. Yeah. So it's just like, I've gotten into this is, this is a para box. <laughs> this is like the logic of the game just stops working. If you push a level out of itself. Okay, so Rosenberg is suggesting, what if I pushed green outside? So if I push green outside, it just emerges straight into here again. But I guess to get it completely outside, maybe I could push that one out and then push this one out? Oh, wait, what? Oh no, okay. So out here, I was gonna say, can I push the two versions of the blue box into it? But I can't. Like once you're outside, that's it, you're screwed. Dang. That was a good idea though. I did have two boxes out there with the green. So that wasn't that wasn't crazy. I genuinely I have not fully wrapped my head around what is going on when I push a box outside of itself. That's a little a little complicated. So, so yeah, so I can put the green here. The reason I'm putting it on top of this stud is so that I can get it off again. Like, 
there's oftentimes a reason why you want to, you know, be able to push something against the wall so you can brace against it and go inside, but you don't want it to be permanently stuck there. And so putting it on a stud like that is a way to do it. So yeah, Rosenberg is suggesting they can push the little blue inside the green one, which I can. Now, is there a way for me to... Oh! What happens now if I... What? <laughs> so now I've switched it. It started that the blue was inside the blue, but now it's the green that's inside the green and the blue is no longer inside the blue. Okay, before I, let's just wrap our heads around this real quick. Okay, so right now the blue is inside the blue. Blue is inside blue. Inside blue, inside blue, inside blue, endlessly inside blue. And green is also inside blue. I do this. And now blue is inside green, which is inside blue, which is inside green. Like, if I keep leaving, I go to blue, then I'm in green, then I'm in blue, then I'm green. It's like I've got a, like, a striped reality now. Blue is in green, green is in, and green is in blue. But then... I come over here and I push green out of blue. And now green is the recursive one and blue is the independent one. Oh, that's so bizarre. Okay, okay. I get it, but that's nuts. Okay, so we've got a similar thing here. Yeah, really similar setup. Green has got space for two. But the only two are itself and blue. So we are going to need to flip it again. So to get it off the wall, I can do this. And then I can theoretically push blue inside of it. What I want is for green to be inside of green. So that means I push green off the wall of blue now, push it out into green. And the problem was I couldn't just put, okay. So actually, okay, so I need, okay, this is gonna be weird. This is gonna be weird. I need to put green here, but then I need to push blue out of green into more green. <laughs> this is crazy. This freaking game! Okay. So, technically I've unlocked the door, but we gotta do all the red puzzles. Okay. So now, I'm in blue. Blue's got three slots. But green also has a slot. So something needs to be in green. Well, this doesn't seem... It doesn't seem that hard. Except, okay, let's let's go inside green. So the problem with green is that there's no way to just push a crate down here. I have to put a box here and then have it poop a crate out. But in order, but the only one that's got a, a downward facing exit is green. So I have to put green inside of green temporarily, so that it can push the yellow box out. So I'm just going to put the yellow box nicely over here. And then I have to rem remember what it is I've been doing to get green into green. So I think what I have to do is put blue into green because green is already in blue. So green is inside blue. So I put blue inside green. And then I push green out of blue. This game makes you think in the weirdest ways. So we push blue out of the way. We'll put green here, right above the target. We'll push yellow out of green into the target zone. But now everything has to be inside blue. So blue braces here. I'll put green inside blue. But now I need to poop blue out of green. 
So I push it out like this. Nope, not like that. Hold on. Don't want it against a wall. So we do it like this. And now I can... So I, I can't go up into green this way because it's not braced against a wall. But I don't have to. I can leave blue. And then push blue out. And myself out. And we've won. Hey there, Yashi. We're doing weird stuff. Okay, so this one. I've got this configuration in blue that actually the entire thing needs to get over into green. So everything needs to be in green. Including green. Which means... Well, okay, that won't be that hard, actually. So we just need to get blue into green. And then blue can spit everything else out. Right? Is that all we need to do? Oh, but we also need to be able to spit green out, specifically. That's going to be the hard part, because in order to... In order to get anything into... Yeah, in order to get green inside green, I have to push green out of blue. Which means green can't be pressed against a wall inside blue. Green, green might have to be the... Okay. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to try putting yellow here. I'm going to try stacking it up like this. So that green eats blue. Oh, but I can't get all the way in. I need I need to push blue all the way in. Um, hmm. What happens if I do this? Okay, that's not what we want. Okay. Ugh. All right, hold on. This isn't going to work. I need to push... I need to go into yellow first because yellow is the one that has structures internally where I can press things against a wall and still get them out. So... Oh, this is... This is nuts. Okay, so... Getting purple inside of green is going to be hard because purple is going to want to eat green instead of vice versa. So actually, purple has to go into blue first. So first purple goes into... Actually, it doesn't go into blue. It just never leaves blue. I just need to leave purple in blue. That's what I have to do. I have to leave purple in blue. So blue goes into yellow. Green, this, these are like half-formed irrational thoughts telling me how to do this. Then green has to eat blue. Right? Except, no, I still don't know how I push blue all the way in. Does that have to be done inside of purple? Oh my gosh. There's so many freaking layers to this. Okay, because the only way to get green inside of green and the only way to get purple inside of green is to have both of them be in blue. Put blue inside of green and then push them both out of blue. So, yeah. And then we'll have everything... And actually, yeah, we can also push yellow out of blue. Basically, I want to have everything packed into blue. And then be able to push them all out of blue. Into green. That will work, except getting blue all the way into green. That's the problem. Because I can do it here, but then I can't ever get green out again. Because green's up against that vertical wall. So the only place... The only place that I can get push green against a vertical wall and then I mean, push it against, sorry, against a top wall, push against a, a north wall, and then still get it out is inside purple. So actually... Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. So 
Oh my. This is nuts. The number of layers of garbage I have to be thinking through in my head. Okay, so. So the only place I think I can get. Okay, I'm genuinely not sure which way this is going to go. So I think I can get green inside of purple here. Yes. Okay. Green is inside of purple now. Let's get blue inside of purple. And so now I can get blue all the way inside of green because I can brace against the top wall of purple. So now blue is in here. But now I need everything inside blue again. So I need to push green into blue, which makes it stripey. And which means like uh, blue is inside green is inside blue is inside green. I need to get purple inside of blue. And then I just need to, because I can see that blue is inside of green. Now I need to push everything out of blue and into green. And the way to get back to blue is not to try to go inside blue, it's to go out of green. So that means that purple's gotta be next. And again, I can exit green to get back into blue. And then I push green out into itself and I've got it. Holy crap, that was freaking convoluted. That was so, so convoluted. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> Cloudcraft just told me uh, if I'm playing Patrick's Parabox again, I should let him know. Uh, I'm going to tell him right now. I'm doing it now. Okay. Sorry, Cloudcraft, if you watch this later, uh, that I didn't notice uh, for 20 minutes that you had said that. Because, yes, I would love to have you here, Cloudcraft. Okay. So this looks very similar. Blue has got a shelf here where I can push things, bracings to the right. Um, like, for example, this green spot, which needs three things in it plus me. So green needs three things in it plus me, but it's got very limited room to move. So green needs to have the blue, the yellow, and itself all inside itself. So traditionally, the way to do that is to push blue inside of green and then push the other two out of blue but the problem with that is huh. there's not a lot of room to maneuver in there it's hard to push two different things out and have that work it's like I could push green out of blue and then emerge from okay let's hmm <laughs> okay everything's inside blue let's just see what happens let's see what I'm missing right now so sometimes it helps to just play it out and just watch what happens so I push this out that's the only place it could possibly go now I could also push green out But then instead of following it out, no, I can only follow it out, which puts it down here where it doesn't belong. Now, if I was somehow inside green, I could emerge to the left. But yeah, so that doesn't work. So what other ways could I do this? So whichever one, I, so I think I do, ha I think blue does have to be in this position because there's literally no other way. I, I can't round this corner. Like I can't, I can't push something in this way and then have it go down. The only way to have anything go down is to have it push out of blue. So the question then is, like for instance, if I had yellow inside of green first, like, if I had a way to push green out of this thing, but then still somehow emerge from green, I could push green over here. But, hmm. This is, okay, this is going to be challenging. 
Um, okay, I, I think my okay, my brain just okay. Let's reset. My brain just fried a little bit. Let's try, let's try this again. I'm almost not, not looking forward to Cloudcraft showing up and being impatient with me not understanding these things as fast as he did. Um, but if if I'm correct that the only way to fill the bottom two squares in green is to start with blue in the top position. If I'm right about that, then the question just becomes, okay, if I get blue into that top position, is there a way for me to, like, if I could push the green out and then somehow magically emerge from the green having pushed it out? I don't think there's a way to do that because then I could just push the green over to the right and it would be it would be great but I, I don't think I don't think that's a valuable yeah so Rosenberg had suggested yellow up top so let me so I think if I push yellow here yellow is now stuck it can't move anywhere and so there's no way to get blue in here now like I can push green out of blue but we're just still inside blue. So I think that doesn't take me anywhere. So I think I think blue does have to be blue does have to be the top one. I think that's the only thing that makes any sense. And so if the next so I try pushing out the yellow one first. If I push the if I push green out first. Oh wait. Oh, could this is still a bad, this is not a complete solution, but I could push yellow just barely inside green, right? Then push green out. And then I'm inside green. And theoretically, if I could get green to move, no. If I could get green to move up one spot if I could get green where Patrick is right now then I could push yellow out of it have the yellow be here and then theoretically if I could somehow magically then be inside blue then I could push it down no, actually no I could push it no I could push it all the way out of green push it here and then go back into green and emerge from up here and push it down and it's still not going to go where it needs to go. So, no. Hmm. But I could, I could push it out of green then stay in green. No, I'm, then I'm just stuck. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Okay, okay. So what am I missing? Is there, okay, let's, let's try, okay, let's try this in a slightly different order. Let's still start by pushing blue inside, but this time let's push yellow outside, but come in this way, push yellow over. Okay, okay, that's, that's what it is. And then I can't do that same maneuver with the green, but I can push it down one, put it here, and, and nope, and go here. Okay. It's so funny how it, when it clicks, sometimes it's actually much simpler than you thought it was going to be. This is a slightly larger one. It's called center. And it, and it branches. It leads to two different levels over here. Interesting. Okay, so I've got this green one can't be moved, and I'm in space right now. Um, so I need somehow for the green one to be inside of itself, I guess? Or Oh, no, no, this just that wasn't on a target. It just needs to... Okay, so pushing it out and pushing it in again, it goes from being on the edge to being in the center. That's why this is called center. The... F 
so this is puzzles that are based on the fact that you always enter. Oops. Um, that you always enter from the, like if, if you're entering something that's got a wide entrance, you always emerge in the center of it. Okay, so like here, I can force that guy onto the inside of this. And then if I push it out again, and then back in, it's going to arrive in the center. And now I can get in there. And so now, okay, now we've got blocks with no walls. So if I push this out, then it's out. But if I push this one in, oh, interesting, weird. That's such a, it's such a very specific rule. Like it's, it's a minor rule. Like they, it's one of those areas where it's not like, like there, there are rules in this game that are part of the grand concept of the game, right? Like, you know, about boxes being inside boxes and stuff like that. You expect there to be levels about that. This, the rule of just like, oh yeah, when you push something into a box and, and it's through a wide opening, it arrives in the center. That feels like it's just a minor little UX detail, but they're making an entire set of puzzles just about that one rule. Okay, so now we're recursively in here. Um, I could push this out and it just keeps staying on the bottom. But if I push it in, then it's somewhere else. And then... I just keep pushing it in and out until it arrives where it needs to be. Wow, okay. I wonder if I should grab this extra challenging one. Okay, I've missed something. Um, <laughs> okay, what I need, what do I need? I need something to emerge from the bottom. Right, okay. I need to, s oh wait, oh uh, wait, this is obvious, sorry. I go in here and then push it this way. That's what it needed me to do. Okay, got it. All right, now what about this one? Another recursive one. So I push it out. Do I though? Oh, and then I gobble it up again. then I can't push it out, but I can push it out this way. And it goes there. Oh, weird. Okay. Got it. Okay, so we've done the bare minimum, but I want to do everything. Okay, so we've got a green level Oh, and I can't enter it because I'm being blocked. Like if I didn't, if that if that orange crate wasn't there, I could just push this down to the bottom slot, get inside, and then emerge. So I need to get rid of the crate first. So I think I do. I need to do it against this wall. I think so. Okay, so I just, I just need to push the crate over by one. That's all I had to do. And now I can go inside and emerge where I need to emerge. 
Okay, so this section is about blocking yourself uh, from the center. Okay, so now... Okay, so can I... So I, can, I can't enter these exits. I can... Okay, so I can only... I might as well brace against this wall because I can only go in here. And then... I can only... Okay, this... Hmm. I can only enter... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I can only enter this one from the bottom. So I can still do that. And then this one, I can only enter from... I can only enter this one from the right. And once I succeed in entering this one from the right, I'm good. So I guess that's it. Okay. So it's just really pointing out that uneven entrances like that. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I can only use them. I assumed that actually I would slide into whatever entrance was available, but no, only if it's in the center. Okay, so... So I can only enter this one from the bottom, and then I can emerge from the right if I want to. I can enter this one from the right and emerge from the top, but I can't go back down into it. Some Oh, oh, I know. This is how I'm going to push these away from the wall. That makes sense. Oh, wait, no. It's not how I'm going to do that. So I would need to go inside. The left hand one made so much sense. can't move it from its position, I don't think. Oh! Oh! Duh. Obvious. Okay. Got it. So yeah, so you can clearly tell that these puzzles are just designed to teach you very specific things. Make sure you've had a certain experience. Okay, so I just need... Okay, I need to have... I need to emerge from... Something right here. So I think what that... Is it, is it something like... I mean, it can't be this because this only uses two of the crates. Yeah. So now I can get in, but it's too late. Okay, so... So what happens? I'm, okay. Hmm. I need. Oh, I need to be. I need to be pushing it down. That's right. Right. Okay. So, what I need. I need to get at least one inside this. So let's get at least one crate inside. And then... Oh, okay. Yeah, this is... This is going to be a little bit weird. This is more challenging than it looks. So, okay, so the problem is, in order to be able to... So I need... The final position of this is, I need to have a, an orange crate here, and a green crate here. And I need to be able to move down into the green crate, and then exit from the right side. The reason that's trouble is because if I push down on the green crate, if there's an orange crate below it, the green crate is going to eat the orange crate, rather than absorbing me. And so to keep that from happening, I need to have two more orange crates... 
inside the green crate. Specifically in the bottom side of it. And it is much easier... <sighs> but I can't just... I think I have to try to push them in. Like, I need to push the green crate down onto them from above. To get them into the right position. Right? Because if I just push them in one step, I can't get... I can't get around them to push them into the right position. Like, if I just push them into the right or to the left or the top, I can't get in around behind them to push them into the bottom where they need to be. So, like, if this cube above me wasn't full, then I would just be, like, orange, 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 green, get in above it, push it all the way down until it stopped, and then I would make it. That'd be fine. So, this gray obstacle right here is here for a reason. It's here so that I can't solve it that way. So so how am I supposed to solve this? Um, I think I'm correct about the final configuration. I just... Of course, I guess... Okay. If, if the green's here, and I push one in like this, okay, actually, okay, this is not that bad after all. When I was trying to push them in on the right side, I was having more trouble, but no, that actually, that actually works just fine. And so now it's braced. And so now I can do this. Okay. Okay. That wasn't that bad. I just, it's very easy to just sort of the first way you imagine doing something, just get stuck to it. Not realizing that it's the way that isn't going to work. Like I was thinking, oh, I need to push the green one onto the, onto the orange bricks in order to absorb them. And that was putting the orange bricks in a place where I couldn't use them. But if I was pushing the orange bricks into the green field, which was... There's no reason why I wouldn't have thought of that first. I just happened to think of the other one first. That was obviously the right solution, but I just got stuck on that first solution. Uh, okay, so... Now I'm going to need to somehow... So, I, so getting something around this corner is going to be a challenge. I think I'm going to have to push the green one. Yeah, okay. So I think to some somehow or another this is what I'm going to Oh wait. Let's push that a little deeper in. I don't want I don't want the the orange crate pressed against the bottom of this. That's going to be a problem. But if I keep it where it is, then I can push it out like this. And ta-da! Oh yeah, it looks like Yashi was having the same idea. Alright, so now I've got... Okay, so this green was only 3x3 three three instead of being 5x5. Five five. And I imagine I'll probably need to push the green one with an orange one in it. Down here, go in, go out, push it from here, go in, and then push the green one out, push the orange one out. So the question is, where is the orange one throughout this process? Because if the orange one is there, well, I can't get in. So that's a problem. Um, so actually... So I think the orange one probably has to be on the left side. I think the orange one has to be on the left side. Which means I kind of have to find a place. Like, like this is the place where I could push something in to the left side. 
Could it also be on the bottom side? I'm trying to think. Because, like, okay, because, I mean, I could easily, you know, I can get it in there. Like, I can get in there like this, except that now the green one is stuck. I can't get it off that wall now. So, and I could, again, like, similarly, push it like that, except, again, the green one is now stuck. I can't, I can't get it off that wall. So I think I have to find a way to either push... Yeah, because I can do all the stuff I need to do with the green one to get into the right position. I can do that. I can get the green one here, and then if the orange one is right there on the left side, I can push it up and out, and then I can get out too, and everything's fine. If if the orange one was here, I couldn't enter from the right side. That doesn't work. Um, if the orange one is here... I could function that way. Yeah, because if the orange one was there, let's, 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 I'll go through this whole rigmarole. I can go around all the way like that, push it over, and then push it up. Okay, so I don't need it to be on the left side. I could have it on the top. Except, if I push it in on the top, then it's blocking my way, and I have to get in from another angle. Right, but that's what this part is for. Okay, so I push it in like this. I come over here. I get inside. I knock it over there. Then I push it over here. Push it down. Get inside. Go around. Push it over. Push it up. And there we go. Whew, okay. Now, I need to have... Two crates on the bottom. Probably one of them is the orange one. So ideally, yeah. So I think what I probably want... What do I want? So it seems like... I could... If I pushed both of them... Let's see what, what problems I run into. When I push both of them into the green... Oh, yeah, okay. So now I have to push one of them against the back wall in order to get behind either of them. I can't I can't get behind them anymore. But if I don't do it like that, if I nope, stop. If I push it all the way to the entrance, does that change anything? Stop. This one can then go in. No, I'm still forced to push something against a back wall. And so, yeah. So, with this solution, I can get the orange one out. But I can't get the yellow one out. So. Probably the orange one needs to be inside the yellow one? That's doable. I can push the orange one here and the yellow one here and then go like this. So now if I push this down here, the question is, how do I get the orange one out again? Because what I have to do is I have to enter the yellow from the left side and then push the orange out. But there's no... Now that we're down here, there's no place to do that. No place to brace. There's no place to... So again, I can fill one slot but not the other. Okay. So... Now what if I somehow got the orange one in the left side? of the yellow. Then I would need to enter from the bottom of the yellow and push it out the left. Still kind of ridiculous.
I'm not even dead certain if my assumption is right about what about the role of the green one. Because, I mean, theoretically, if I put the green one here and then push the orange one out of it, what am I talking about? I'll be stuck. And actually, yeah, so if I had the yellow one here and I managed to magically push the green one out, I mean, the orange one out of it, it would emerge there. And then I would push it the rest of the way out and I could get around it. But how in the world would I get into the yellow one from below? Here, that doesn't seem doable. Now, if it's possible to use the yellow one inside the green one, to spit the orange one out. So, okay, so what did I do before? I think I... I think I did this. And then I put it in this way. <gasps> Tendo Lindsay, if you've got a hint, I'm 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 all for it. Um Cause I mean I can push the orange one deeper, but then I'll never ever get it out. So that doesn't seem valuable. And I don't see a way that I can move the green one ever off this wall either. I think the green one is stuck on the wall. Now, maybe it's possible to push the yellow one out, have it produce the orange one, but then push it back in and rearrange it that way somehow. Or, like, have the orange one emerge. First. <laughs> Ranath Court is giving me a hint. Hey, you should put two of the box squares on these, on these, uh, two of the boxes on these squares, and then myself and this. Nice hint, Ranath Court. Thank you. Yes, that's very, very helpful. Um, okay, so Tendulin suggests orange in the middle of green, and then use yellow to take it out of green later. I don't know what you mean by that. So I could put orange in the middle of the green. Oh, wait, do you mean I put it there and then I just, I just pack them both in. Oh, I can, okay, so I can get it. I'm failing here. This is not what you said I should do. Um, So if I put the yellow, okay, you're suggesting that I put the yellow in first. Put yellow up here someplace. And then also put the orange in here. Then I'm actually not sure what you're suggesting. I'm sorry, Tandalins. I, I, I get the general gist that you're suggesting there's a way that I can use the yellow to get the green to get the orange out of here. Like I can get the orange in here and I can use the yellow almost like some like a crowbar to get it out again if I need to. But I'm having trouble understanding how that works exactly. Okay, so Tendalens is saying that yeah, that maybe their idea doesn't work after all can go inside here which is cute but yeah this almost works except that I can't get the orange out now and I it basically in order to push the yellow one out I had to put the orange one over push the orange one over here which makes it inaccessible this is gonna be the one that kills me 
<laughs> well, the problem is I am going to have to leave really soon to take my kids to school. And so I can't just be stumped on this forever. I have to, I have to find an answer. So, okay, so I think that the reason why we have the shape we have is so that I can go all the way around. Like, it's this motion. I put, so let's push it in. I am doing this motion to push it up again. And theoretically, I will then want to do that with another block. Except... Now it's blocking me. I can't orbit all the way around. But I can if I put yellow in first. Oh. Okay, that's my alarm telling me that it's time to remind my kids it's time to go to school. But I think... I think I've got this now. I think I know what I'm doing. So. We put the yellow in. So the yellow is not about containing the orange. The yellow is about giving me a root around the orange. So now I can push them both out. And we've done it. The thing we haven't done is these two blue puzzles. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to quit uh, because I'm not going to put, uh, you know, put at risk the chances of my kids getting to school on time. So I like to completely wrap these up, these these larger, you know, groups of puzzles up before uh, I finish, but I can't this time. So what am I going to do? Well, I've got a couple of options. I could just solve these later and append it onto this video or yeah, or I could just end this now and start the next one. Ah, I think I'd rather append it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disappear for a second, and then I'm going to come right back. If you're watching this later on YouTube, I'm going to disappear for a second, come right back, and try to finish those last two puzzles before I wrap up the video. However, if you're watching me live on Twitch, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to disappear for a second, and then we're just going to do an end screen. Hello, it's future Jeffrey. Uh, I just got back from school with the kids, and I've got a little bit of time to solve those last couple of puzzles. So let's do that real quick. I don't have an audience right now to talk to. We're just gonna jump in here and figure out what's going on. Okay, so I'm Patrick and I need to put something on this and something on this. There's a two, is it two? Okay, the two is an entrance. So this is, yeah, so this is like an ASCII representation of the same puzzles we've been playing with before. Okay, so I... Right. Okay, so the green section over here on the right... Okay, now that I understand it. The green section over on the right is a small box that is contained within the box on the left. So box number one is the one on the left, the gray one. Box number two is the one on the right, the green one. The box number two is inside box number one. And so if I go into two, it pops me over here. If I go into two from the top... It pops me at the top, and it always pops me in at the center. So if I push B out through the top, it will come out in a place where I can't go any higher. And there's not much I can do with it here. So this is not useful. Um, but is there another way that I can... Oh, I think I can. Yeah, okay. So what if I pushed B over here, then exited over here then came in from the top. Now I'm pushing B down that way. And then I'll come in from the left and push B left. And then, does that count? Yes, that does count. All right. So now, so it's interesting because, you know, when you're looking at the graphical representation of these boxes, um, they... It's actually, it can be a little bit confusing and misleading because you're watching them be inside each other, then outside of each other, and they're, you know, they're moving around doing weird stuff. When you see how it's represented under the surface, you know, as it's thought of as just being not boxes inside boxes, but boxes linked to boxes that are coincidentally drawn inside of the boxes. Um, it actually, it, it seems like it makes a lot more sense. 
Okay, so I am Patrick. I'm over here on in box number three. If I leave box number three, I come out in box number two. If I leave box number two, I come out in box number one. And I need to somehow get a block B over here and then myself over here. So it seems like I can probably theoretically push two down so it's next to the target. And then I can push B out of two, except I can't because if I put B here, I can't get to the left of it to push it out. But if I put B inside of three and then push three there, I might be able to do it, except then I would have to be inside three. So, okay, so let's, yeah, let's put B inside three. Oh, I forgot. One, one is inside. I forgot that it was recursive. Okay. So, oops, nope, don't do that. Okay, so let's push B inside of one. Okay, so now I can push... Right, okay, so. Let's get back inside, nope. Let's get back inside two again. And so now three has got B queued up in it. But, oh, but I can't actually push three over here. Three's up against the wall. Is there anything I can do about that? I don't know if there is, hold on. But, oh, but that's not the point. I can push B into one this direction. Right, of course. And then I can queue B up just inside two without pushing it all the way. Then I can push two down there and then I can go out of one and out of three into two, push B in. There we go. Then I go back and here I am. Okay. <laughs> We did it. We're through this one, but now I have to actually decide my next episode, which of these two paths am I going to take? They look really similar in shape, but one's lighter and one's darker. I don't know what the difference is. Let's look at the light one. Okay, it's labeled clone. It looks like this. It's got three open, and then a bunch of red and blue ones around. Wait, what? If I go into this one, I still... Oh, weird. So these are the same one. But no matter which one I go into, I end up in the one at the right. So the one at the left is a clone of the one at the right. What do you bet that's what I'm going to be dealing with in these puzzles? Well, if you're curious about that... Uh, I think you'll have to wait for the next episode. So I already shot an end screen for this when I was live on Twitch. So I think all I need to do is just sit here and an end screen will magically appear. Well, that was my third video on Patrick's Parabox. Uh, hopefully that bit that I just slotted in there went well. I've got no idea what to expect from it. But if you're watching later on YouTube, there is a subscribe button for you. And if I keep playing Patrick's Parabox... I'm going to stick the video right there, so enjoy that, and I'll see you later.